Don't, well, don't pick that ch Oh, that is so gross! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I hope to start your day is amazing. You know, one of the things that I get asked more than anything, and I've talked about it before, is people will ask me what my favorite animal is. And the truth is, I can never pick. You see, the thing is, I love all the animals so much, and it's just really hard for me. I mean, not just reptiles. It's everywhere I go when I see an animal, I think it's amazing, whether it's a dog, or a cow, or a giraffe, or a lion, or a alligator. <laughs> or a crocodile or snake or whatever. You get the point. What I'm trying to say is I can't really pick a favorite animal. But I thought because you guys ask me so often, maybe I'll just go around and ask some people here at the shop what their favorite animals. That way you guys will get your fix. I'm curious, do me a favor. I'm gonna ask Lori, I'm gonna ask Noah, I'm gonna ask Andrea, and I'm gonna ask Kelsey at least. Go ahead and comment down below. What do you think Lori or Noah's favorite animal is gonna be? This ought to be interesting because I don't really know what they're gonna say either. Hey Lori. I gotta ask you a question. Okay. What is your... I need to see right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right in your face. It's fine. What is your favorite animal? Here. Not... Yeah, here. At the shop? At the shop. Huh. Show... Well, show me. Show you? Yeah. I don't know where he is. It should be Speedy, I think. Speedy? You can't... You can't say Speedy. Speedy is my animal. Speedy's not even your animal. See, look, yes. there he is, and there's a big turd. <laughs> He's hanging out by the heat. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah. This is good. <laughs> so why don't you clean that turd up? Yeah, with your hands. Yeah, just pick it up with your hands and then eat it like a piece of chocolate. <laughs> no, I won't eat it, but I'm gonna smash it in your face. Don't, well, don't pick that ch Oh, that is so gross! <laughs> get away! Get away! Get away! Holy come here! Come here! <laughs> Holy moly! Number one, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty grossed out by the fact that you just picked that big turd up without even wearing gloves or using a towel. You wash your hands. That's still, you just picked up a turd, Lori. <laughs> Listen, I'm a mother. I've cleaned diaper, dirty diapers. I've done a lot worse <laughs> and it just washed. I, that's gross. And it wasn't even fresh. <laughs> it's still gross. Yeah. I don't know guys, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to take her out to eat anymore because all I'm going to think about is her picking up a turd with her hands. That is gross. <laughs> Noah, you're up. For what? What is your favorite animal at the shop? At the shop, Bearded Dragon, Stevie Y, aka Betty Watt, he only got one eye. Well, go show me it. So what is it though? This is my man's Stevie Y, aka Betty Watt. He was born with one eye, that's why his nickname is AKA Fetty Wap. Ebola. Ebola, 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 Ebola. Hey guys, I'm on a fact finding mission. Look at how fat he is. <laughs> RJ, you're so chubby. I think he was sleeping him off. I think we gotta put RJ on a diet because he's, <laughs> uh, he's getting too fat. Okay, good that I have you both here. I'm gonna ask you, we'll start with Kelsey. What is your favorite animal here? My favorite animal here is our Woma Python. I adore her. Let me see it. This one right here. She is a beauty. I Look at how her. big she is. I love the Woma Pythons because ball pythons have such a reputation for being docile, but Woma's gotta be. I know. Like they're cool. so chill. They don't care about anything. You can do whatever you want. That's a pretty cool choice. I tell you what. I love Walmart pythons too. So I think uh, I like the choice. That's good stuff. How about you, Andrea? Your um, favorite. It doesn't have to be a snake. No, it can be any animal. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that little is baby. a cutie. That's a little baby skink. A little blue tongue skink. So you like the blue tongue skink? I see, do. I do too. I think that they're super cool. And look at that cute little face. Who wouldn't love that face? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me see its back. What, what does it look like? Oh, okay, yeah, it's just like a classic northern. It's really beautiful. It's so, so. cute and tiny. <laughs> <laughs> they are awesome. So there you guys, there you have it. 
Now you guys know what these guys' favorite animals are. When it comes to me, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's really just so hard, you know? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna probably shoot a snake bite show for next Wednesday that is gonna highlight a handful of, I don't wanna say that they're my favorite animals, but certainly animals that are very near and dear to me. And, and, and listen, I love, you know, I love them all. You know, that's the problem. It's like, I go around, oh, by the way, look at this squirrel. Guys, I gotta show you this. Look at in here. They're little baby rats. <laughs> and there's the mama. Look at mama laying over there. Come on, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at the cute mama. Look at her. Come on, little mama. <laughs> Look at how cute that rat is. That's just the cutest thing, isn't it? And trust me, we won't be feeding her off, and I'm, I don't, I won't feed any of the babies off either. Look at how cute they are. They're just adorable little guys. Hello. <laughs> you know, so my point is, is that you know, I, I'm an animal lover. Even, even you know, rodents. I just think they're really amazing. So it's really cool to have a little mama rat over here that has babies. But the thing is, is that every time I look at an animal of any kind, I'm just blown away by it. You know, I mean, I can open up a cage and just be like. Oh my God, that thing is so beautiful, you know? Or this cage is so beautiful. And it's so it's really difficult for me to pick favorites. And you know, obviously I really love ball pythons. I really love boa constrictors. I really love RJ, my alligator. I really love Speedy like Laurie. I, I just love them all, you see what I'm saying? And so anyways, I am gonna shoot a show that's really highlighting a few of those kind of ambassador animals. And I'll highlight them and tell their story because a lot of people will ask things like, what happened to RJ's leg? How old is Daisy? I'm gonna go ahead and explain that stuff in a Snake Bites episode that I'm gonna shoot and it'll be out next week. And those aren't gonna be what I'm gonna consider my favorite animals, but certainly animals that are very, very near and dear to my heart. It just never gets old. Uh, sometimes, I, I, a lot of times I hand feed karma, but today I threw some crickets in because I, I want karma to still hunt every now and then. I don't want it to get him to get lazy and just sit around and go like, all right, I'm here for food. So every now and then I just throw a bunch of crickets in there and just let him hunt. But I just get such a kick out of watching him because uh, he's such an interesting animal. Again, there's no way I can ever pick favorites, but you know, when it comes to corn snakes, one of my favorite corn snakes are these guys here. They're a coral snow corn snake, and it's just that really pink look to them. I just saw, and I've been working on this, it's you know, a polygenic trait, where you basically are just breeding the pinkest ones to the pinkest ones, and some are really turning out good. You know what is a snake that I haven't really shown very much, that when I was like younger, when I first got into snakes, like this was one of the pinnacles because it had just been produced, and uh, I just absolutely couldn't believe how amazing it is. And that's of course these leucistic Texas rat snakes right here. Uh, and again, leucistic is just a, a term for lacking all pigment. So it's a white animal. Now there's leucistic ball pythons and boas and a bunch of other leucistic stuff. But this was the very first leucistic that was out there, which was again, a leucistic Texas rat. So I remember these guys, I remember they were 300. Oh, you little sucker, he bite me right on the hand. These guys were 300 bucks when I was like 16 years old. So 300 bucks. I was working at a pet shop, you know, making like a like hundred dollars a week. So uh, I remember having to save up my money for a while. Where's the money for my tuition? And I finally got a pair of them. And uh, that was probably one of the coolest purchases that I made when I was like 16 years old. I remember the first time when I actually produced them. Uh, again, they're a little feisty. They like to bite a little bit, but uh, they are super, super cool snakes. So uh, again, I, I can't say they're my favorites, but certainly they had a soft spot in my heart because I remember when I was a kid acquiring them and, uh, and I've been working with them and loving them ever since. And then there's these two here, these two mongrels. Oh, my Zeusies. Everyone always says, show more of your puppies. And these are my puppies right here. This is Zeusy. I love Zeusy so much, although he's got a big mouth. He is one of the most loyal dogs. And of course, my gorgeous girl Artsy here, Artikins. There you go, girl, you're so pretty. You're so pretty and fluffy. Love you. And these guys, you know, I've said this before, but they come to work with us every single day. I mean, I couldn't imagine being at the shop without my pups, you know? I mean, every now and then we'll leave them home for a day and it just feels weird to not have them here. Um, they're just part of the snake family, really. 
they come here and they get depressed when, when we leave them at home, <laughs> they get depressed. They wanna come too. It's just part of their daily routine. So I'm gonna probably wrap up here at the shop because me and Noah have been talking about going in the hockey rink. Uh, we haven't played hockey together in probably close to a year. I just figure I'm gonna get out of here a little early, go spend some time with Noah, go do some skating, uh, and then I'm sure I'll come back and do some work later. But anyways, I'm out of here. All right, so we are here at the rink. It's gonna be cold and <laughs> cold out here. It's gonna be cold inside, but uh, it's always good to get out and just unwind and play some hockey. some good clean fun I tell you to have the whole rink to ourselves is absolutely amazing it's cool to like you know get people to play and have a, a great game and stuff like that but to just have a whole sheet of ice to yourself for as long as you want that's pretty awesome huh Noah? I'm tired <laughs> I haven't played in almost a year and as always it's my favorite time of the day when I'm here alone with my animals gives me a chance to just kind of look around and also get some time to think about things all right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap it up for the day, but not before I talk to you about one little thing that's been on my mind. You know, sometimes I think it's a little unfair that I get held to such a high standard in the wildlife community. Listen, I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to educate people, get people to be passionate about animals. But listen, I don't ever claim to be an expert. I don't ever claim to be the next coming. I don't claim to be the guy that is the face of conservation. I'm just a guy that's trying to get you guys excited about wildlife. That's about it. Do I make mistakes? Of course I make mistakes. Do I sometimes cross the line and do things that maybe I should do? I'm sure that I do. But for whatever reason, some people seem that I should be held to such an accountability more so than anybody else. So someone else does something and it's like, oh, that was pretty cool. I do it and you would think that I somehow did something that was unconscionable. Not that it's gonna change who I am because I'm gonna continue to do the things I do because I believe in them and I hope that you guys that support me really do. I don't have a problem taking your constructive criticism. You can comment down below and tell me what you think. I'm always reading your comments and I love you guys for that. I really do appreciate our community because you guys are so amazing. And speaking of amazing, what would be really cool is for you to smash that like button right now as well as hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Until tomorrow, you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to be kind to somebody, including being kind to me. I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.